Hi everyone, it's been a while since I saw you last and uh, I'm back with another vlog. I thought it was good to start with a vlog after having been away for a while and I'm sure lots of you are wondering lots of things about what's going on with me. So I thought let's do a vlog and um, it's about 10 a.m. now. I've just spent my morning doing a few stretches and I had my breakfast as usual. You know, I love breakfast and I ate oatmeal, which you've seen me make so many times before, so I'm not gonna show you how I make that because I'm sure you know anyway. And um, yeah, I'm in our new apartment and if it sounds a bit echoey, that's because we don't have anything on the walls of this quite large room and if you hear cars it's because we now live in the city and there's a road right behind where you are <laughs> or where the camera is right now so I apologize for any strange sounds and um, yeah Rob and I moved to Malmö it's the third largest city in Sweden if you didn't know that and uh, before we lived in a rental house which you've seen plenty of videos from and that was about an hour away from here and we moved out of that house in june and uh, june last year actually we're in a new year happy new year everyone and uh, yeah we moved out in june last year and we were very naive when we uh, canceled our contract with our landladies uh, we thought we'd find the perfect house in just a few months and we really didn't so we ended up um, yeah hopping from here to there living with our parents looking for somewhere new to live and uh, ended up buying a flat in the city and that's where we're at now and i'm sitting in it as you can see and um yeah that happened <laughs> and we moved into this apartment uh in the middle of december and uh, we decided just before that that we were going to have Christmas in this apartment which is a little bit nuts but um, it made us do a lot of stuff moving in and fixing it up before our family came my mom actually came to visit us three days after after um, we moved in and we've been painting and doing some other DIY stuff and we still have quite a bit to do to get it to where we would like it to be and yeah I thought in this vlog I can show you around the apartment a little bit show you what uh, we've done so far what it looks like and uh, tell you a little bit about what we want to do and I also have a fun project that I started yesterday I'm gonna make a big big wall hanging but I want to hang here above the couch and uh, I should have calculated beforehand how much string I would need <laughs> because I definitely need way more than I initially bought and uh, yeah I think we're gonna go and see if we can find some more today and uh, work on that a little bit I thought it might be fun to show you that and yeah otherwise it's just gonna be a regular follow along vlog I guess and um, yeah I hope you will enjoy it and enjoy having me back here. I'm thinking that for uh, February I'm gonna post two videos a week and actually starting this week it's still January when you see this um, but yeah I thought it's good to start with a little bit more of a bang than one video a week and we'll see how we keep going after February maybe it will be one video a week or two videos a week but I hope I can keep it flowing throughout the year and uh, especially now that we have some more stability and we're in one place and yeah i've been chatting for a long time now but uh, i realized that i've chat very little in my vlogs and everyone else chats very much in their vlogs so i thought it might be a nice change to just chat a bit more and we'll see if i can keep it going throughout the video but uh, yeah let's keep going with the day let's go out and find some more string and uh, let's have a look at the flat later
having a fika. It's a Swedish tradition, which I'm sure lots of you have heard already uh, about already. And uh, we just got back from the store. We got some more uh, rope or what do you call it? String. String. Uh, Rob is here. Say hello. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, it, it's not enough, I don't think, the string we got. So I guess I'll show you the start of it and we'll have to continue it in some other video to show you actually the fun part. But I can show you a little bit of what I had have in mind for it. I'll, I'll put some pictures somewhere in here to show you what I'm thinking and then I'll show you how big I want to make mine, which uh, you might think is a little nuts, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, so we're having fika. Rob is having a semla. We went to Lieve, and uh, it's a, also I think a Swedish uh, Swedish pastry. It's just like a a wheat bun with almond paste inside and uh, cream. And uh, there's a really awesome place here in Malmö called Lieve, and they make vegan ones that are really good, right? Very very good. Yeah. <laughs> So Rob's having that and I'm having a, another kind of pastry. It's a mixture between a mazarin and a tosca. If you're Swedish, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, I'm really sorry. It's just like a sweet pastry with some almond flakes on top. And um, yeah, we're having a Tuesday treat. And then I'm gonna show you around the house and show you this wall hanging that I keep going on about. I thought we should start this tour right, so this is the hallway and where you get into the flat. Um, it's actually a, quite a large hallway, but uh, I'll show you the other side in a minute. Here's a little hanging station and a nice modem <laughs> or router or whatever you call that. And we have this crazy wallpaper. Um, it's very pretty, but it's not really our style. So we're gonna paint here, it's the plan. So as you can see, we also have a little bit of a crazy floor, um, but the hallway continues on. We have a little nook here. We're not quite sure yet what we're gonna do, but we have some plants there now and a lamp. And we're obviously gonna paint this whole hallway. Now you get sneak peeks of all the other rooms, but uh, here's the, another part of the hallway, which is this space where we have this kind of dresser, which some of you might recognize from our old house. And I think we're gonna paint that as well, but that's for a later date. Um, yeah, that's the hallway. I'll take you to the kitchen. Here is our kitchen. It's quite a contrast to the hallway. As you can see, we have this nice subway tile all the way up. And uh, for the first time since moving away from London, we have a gas hob, which I'm sure, uh, I'm not sure is the most environmentally friendly, but it's fun to cook with fire. And I've got a little nook here with all my essentials. And then this um, countertop stretches all the way along here. And here you can see the kitchen from a different angle where you see that counter that stretches along. And we also have this little island that came, well, we bought it from the, the owner or the previous owner and we put it in the middle. It used to be over here in this corner, but we put our shelf there, some plants, some books. And I must say, I love the windows of this flat. It's, a, it's an old building, it's from uh, the 20s, so we have some nice features. Now I just turned around so you can see the little breakfast nook or storage units that we have here with a counter. We just have some little tables and another window which is super nice for us to use when we're filming. And we haven't really done anything in here. We're thinking about painting or we are definitely gonna paint, but it's still gonna be white. And we're probably gonna hang some things on the walls over here. And on this side where we have this um, cupboard right here, we're thinking about putting open wooden shelves rather to soften the, soften the kitchen a little bit. It's very like white and stark right now. Um, and I think it will look, look really nice. I've always wanted open shelves, but we have to think about that. And uh, one more thing about this kitchen that makes me pretty excited <laughs> is this really big fridge. And uh, 
again, I'm not quite sure it's really great for the environment to have such a large appliance. I'm not sure how much electricity it draws, but it's a nice double door fridge with these two, two uh, drawers. And something fun on the fridge here is Rob and I have started planning our meals a bit better. And um, here's a list of what we're going to be making like the next in the next 10 days or so. And tonight I think we're making the second one from the top here, Indian aubergine and mung beans. I'll probably show you a bit of that later. And yeah, we had these shelves from our old apartment or not apartment house. So for now they're full of various things, but um, at some point I'll reorganize probably. So I thought I'd just take a little break here and <laughs> speak to you about something because when I showed you this um, list of the things we're gonna eat, I just wanted to say that having moved and starting over a little bit, we've been thinking a lot about other things that we would like to be better at or incorporate more and planning our meals and being more mindful of what we buy and how we buy it is one of those things. Living in a city, I think we have a lot more opportunity to think about how much waste we produce in terms of having more shops around where we can uh, buy things more thoughtfully. And um, also there's there are more opportunities to order like vegetable boxes and things like that which we have tried once now and i think we're going to continue doing that as well and we have a bulk store just around the corner so we are using that store as well so that's something we're trying to focus on trying to focus on using up the things we have and with the flat in general we want to buy more more of the things items that are in here secondhand and I must say, so far, <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit with this and finding pieces that actually work with each other. And, but I'm working on that. And I, I actually bought some things for our living room. I bought four chairs and a, uh, like, um, what do you call that? In Swedish, we say korgstol. It's like, um, we call it a basket chair. It's like um, a big chair made from wood. <laughs> I'll have to put a picture in here somewhere because I, I don't think I'm explaining this very well. And those things I did buy second hand. Uh, but yeah, we, we'll keep looking for things uh, second hand and try to upcycle them as well. And that's what I'm going to do with the chairs. Maybe I can show you that in another video if you would like. And yeah, I'm sure I'm going to think of more things that that relate to this and trying to be more mindful in how we do things uh, later on. But uh, yeah, so far we have bought a few things from Ikea and I know we're, we're not in the good place with, with the environment right now. I'm very mindful of that. And uh, I still bought things from Ikea. I think I'm very human like that. <laughs> I think one way and I act another. Um, but I'm working on it, uh, which I'm sure lots of you are doing as well. And yeah, this just gives an opportunity to be more mindful and to think about our purchases in a more mindful way. But uh, enough about that for now. I'm going to show you the rest of the apartment. Next up, I'm showing you our bedroom which you see here. And this room we've actually already painted. It used to be turquoise and uh, you've probably seen this already now, but I'll try and put in some footage of how it looked like before. And um, yeah, we put some curtains up here. Got a, some plants in the corner and an old um, wooden crate that we put some books in and this old, um, what do you call that chest? I got from my mother and she found it in a second-hand shop, I think, or it was a gift from someone. Um, so we're using that at the end of the bed. Here we would like to put in a, a bed frame here, which we don't have yet. Uh, we're thinking about that, maybe some pictures on the wall. And we would like a bigger mirror to fill the space here. Right now we have this one, which we used to have in our hallway in the house. And over here, on this wall, 
this whole wall is um, storage, like wardrobes. And um, there used to be sliding doors here, but we decided to remove them because they, they were very modern and we didn't quite think they went with the, with the style of this house. So we put these curtains up and uh, we also put this skirting up here you can see and it doesn't quite match the white so we're gonna have to paint that probably but we thought this was a good solution that wasn't too expensive we would have considered putting wooden doors in but i think that would have just been crazy expensive so we went with this option and i just need to um so the ends of these here I've borrowed a sewing machine from a friend over there and I'm going to take these up so that they don't lie on the floor like that and uh, yeah it's really good to have all the storage let's move on to the other bedroom this is the second bedroom and we haven't done uh, anything to the walls in here yet and we're planning on painting those and over here on this wall as you can see there's a wallpaper so we're going to change that as well and this is our guest room and also going to work as our office you can see i already have my desk here but i'm not working at it yet because i think i want to do the walls before i set everything up and i would also like to have a cupboard here or a shelf next to my <coughs> next to my desk so that I have somewhere to store papers and also some props and still we have these beautiful windows and we had the same kind of sliding doors here on this um, wardrobe so we changed that to these curtains as well maybe you can see it a bit better what it looks like in this room and again I need to take those up here you can see what's going on on the other side of the spare room or office, whatever we should call it. And uh, we had this, um, it's a pull-out bed kind of thing, sofa bed, I don't even know what to call that. We got that from a friend, so we gave it a new home. And what I would like to do is just put something else on top of here, make it a bit more cohesive and maybe change add some more big pillows so it's comfortable to sit there if we have people over and need to have them in the office or something maybe put something on the wall here and again we're going to paint this wall and it's going to be some sort of um, lighter gray beige everything suddenly in my life I want to be beige I don't know why it just um, is soothing to me and here you can see I've done a little tester of a wall hanging similar to the one I'm going to make for the living room, but obviously much smaller. And uh, yeah, just thought it was fun to show you. But let's go on to the living room. And here is our living room finally. Here we have a dining room table. And uh, yeah, this is the main place where we eat and we have uh, food when friends come over. And this table is actually the table my mother bought with my sister's dad when they got married. I think it's 35 years old or something like that. And we've decided to keep it. Um, it's a very good big table. And here's our old, um, our old TV console, which we use as a bench for now until the other chairs that I bought come. And then over here, you can see we have our couch and our old palm tree you might recognize from our old house and uh, yeah we bought that rug as well second hand which i'm pretty proud of otherwise the the table there is from ikea but this couch we actually bought from the previous owner and it fits the space really well it's quite big which is nice when you have friends or family over and again we have the lovely windows and then over here we have a big tv and Rob, it, it, yeah, basically that's that's Rob's doing. <laughs> I don't, uh, uh, I don't complain though. I I like Netflix too. I just moved angles so you can see better. What we would like to do is to have a some sort of little dresser or more like a cupboard here so we can put the record player which is sitting over there right now with our records on top of there maybe some pictures standing on top of there and some plants over here and um, that's the wall hanging that's going to hang over the couch and uh, yeah it's pretty massive <laughs> if it doesn't end up above the sofa I was thinking to hang it here 
But I think it will be hard to decide whether to center it on the wall or behind the table. Maybe you guys could let me know, but I think the sofa is better. Anyway, let me know what you think. If the wall hanging should be here or above the sofa. Um, yeah, that's about it, I think. This is it. And oh yeah, we've painted the walls in here as well. We, they used to be dark gray, so we decided to paint it the same color as the, as the bedroom, which we much prefer. Gives it a softer impression. And yeah, I'm trying to add some more beachy vibes <laughs> to my otherwise, otherwise very cold and um, city life here in Sweden <laughs> by adding some of these wicker things. I know rattan and cane and wicker is really in right now and I've totally fallen for this trend. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how far I go. Rob's trying to stop me. But yeah, this is it. This is our flat. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little tour of where we live now. Um, I didn't show you the bathroom because Rob thinks that's weird. <laughs> I'm gonna respect him, his, his wishes. Um, I might show you where he sits and works though. It's a little dungeon um, that he's working on a video that's coming up this weekend. So maybe I'll show you that. Anyways, uh, this is the flat. It's quite a big flat and we are very lucky to be able to live like this, I realized that. And um, yeah, we, we, we want to live in the countryside, uh, in a house. That's our, like, our dream. And uh, yeah, we haven't found it yet. We're still looking and that's our plan for the future, to be in the countryside, in the house, close to nature, close to the forest, and be able to grow our own food on in our garden that would be our idea of a good life but for now we're really going to try and enjoy being in the city as much as possible and taking advantage of being able to walk more places enjoy um, all the things that come with the city museums good connections to to go on the train elsewhere, being here in Malmö, you're really close to Copenhagen, which is a perk. You can always hop on the train and you, you're in a different country really easily and sustainably. And uh, yeah, it's like you get two cities for the price of one. I don't know how to say that in a better way. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and make the most of this. I'm actually thinking about joining a gym. I think some of you might know that I used to do uh, classes in our village school gym with the other uh, the other villagers from where we used to live and i really really enjoyed that and i miss that a lot but yeah i think i'm gonna join a gym here and see see how i like that and um yeah go to more museums see more bands <laughs> maybe go to some dance performances who knows give me some tips and yeah that was it for the house tour and I, I think I'm blabbering now, so... As you can see in the last clip, I still have a little spot over there that needs filling with string. So I think that's it for the wall hanging today. I was hoping that I could start making knots and show you what it's gonna look like in the end, but um, that's gonna have to wait until some other time. I'll try and do a few updates on my Instagram. So if you're interested in how it's going with this wall hanging, then you can follow me there and uh, I'll share some more about it there. Um, I hope you like seeing these DIY things, by the way, or like, um, yeah, it's DIY things. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments. I'm asking you a lot of things today, but it's been a while since I've made 
made this kind of video so I just want to know what you want to see um, yeah I think it's lunchtime now I've uh, worked out my hands and for the sores, I think it's actually good that I'm not doing any more of, of this project today. Maybe we'll do something else in the kitchen instead since I couldn't finish this. Um, yeah. dinner and these little guys that we got in our organic veg box inspired this meal as well as a really lovely girl here on YouTube called Nikki Vegan. She posted I think four videos, um, it was a while ago, maybe two years ago, of Indian recipes, like traditional Indian recipes and one is an aubergine recipe and I personally am not an aubergine fan or eggplant, sorry that's the oven making sound, <laughs> it's already on, uh, but this recipe is really good and I can really recommend it. I'm gonna link it down below and we're also gonna make a mung bean sort of dal curry kind of thing. So that's what we're having for dinner. I'm gonna make it and then show you and I'm gonna link the recipes I'm using in the description box like I said. And I'll also link some videos in the description box for some macrame or weaving tutorials because I, I thought maybe you would like to to know what, what helps me in, in building my own. So let's cook some dinner.
that's dinner done. I did forget to poke holes in those aubergines, so if you want to make the recipe, don't make the same mistake as I do, because it traps the water in the skin when it bakes in the oven, and you want that steam out of there. So yeah, don't make my mistake. But um, this is the end of the video. I'm gonna eat my dinner, and I really hope you enjoy this video and uh, that you're looking forward to the next one. I'll post another video on Sunday, which will be the recipe of what we ate for lunch today. So I'll hope you'll tune in for that. And please let me know if you have any thoughts or suggestions in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, bye.